And welcome back to the Sunday Sports Update. We are here with a man who never takes a break. You know I'm a special K. Good to see you. <laughs> David, it's good to see you and welcome back from your vacation. Thank you so much. I think the last time I checked with you was a few months ago. You did go golfing, didn't you? To take a break? Yes, yes. I went out west, did some golfing. Didn't play too well, but had fun. You have been so busy with all your camp special K, which we want to talk about, but we also are going to get to some of the Pistons material that's been taking place. Most notably, Josh Smith. We all heard the news with that. We'll get to that in a little bit but, and talk about some of the draft picks that they made. But first things first, talk about your camp. I know Tom Lydon and I were out at Cast Tech a few weeks ago. Tell us about your next camp coming up. Yeah, well, our next camp will begin a week from tomorrow at Southfield High School, and then we'll go the very next week at Gross Point North High School, and then we'll follow that up with West Bloomfield High School, and then we'll be done for the season. Five weeks, this is the first time we ever uh, had that many, but we've, we've had a fantastic time, and, and we enjoy working with the kids, and, and we're just hoping that more will sign up for the uh, upcoming camps. For some of those parents, Special K, wondering what their child can get out of your camp, I know there's so many things you focus on, mm -hmm. e education being one of them. Yeah, well, education really is the big thing. I mean, we, we understand that, you know, we're in a position as adults, as coaches, counselors at the camp, to uh, make these kids understand that, you know, basketball and any sport that they endeavor is a worthwhile uh, undertaking, but you have to do it with the proper pr perspective and keep it in, in its place. Education is the thing that's going to carry you the farthest. I'm a living example of that. I realized my childhood dream of playing professional basketball at the highest level, but it doesn't last forever. And you've got to have something that you can truly fall back on, something that will sustain you perhaps the rest of your life. And for me, my education provided many opportunities. I'm broadcasting, I'm speaking, I'm doing all the things I'm doing because I got a sound education. We emphasize that every day at camp. And it is worth noting that between seven and 17 year olds are able to come to your mm -hmm. camp, correct? Yeah, you know, one of the big questions I get from parents is, uh, you know, well, my kid's just starting or, you know, he's not very good or she's not very good. It doesn't matter. We have all skill levels and we can accommodate all of that. And our job is to help them get better. And that's something that we take a great deal of pride in. As I said, education is the first thing, but we understand that the folks come for basketball so they get a, a healthy dose of that each and every day. Where, where, it, where it rains in, in the overall picture. And we put up a, a story on WXYZ.com with a link to your website so people can get some more information at home about your camps yeah. coming up. We're always excited to talk to you about your camps. Thank now, you. sure, you bet. Pistons now. Josh Smith, four-year deal reportedly worth $56 million is what I'm hearing. Did the Pistons get it right, Special K? Well, you know what? I think they got it right in terms of getting a player that fits the, the mandate, which is get more athletic. You see what's happening right now where the league is trending. These All these athletic teams, uh, Miami, Indiana, uh, even Sandy, uh, San Antonio, Oklahoma City, full of athletes. And the Pistons over the last few years have lacked that. Andre Drummond really was the first to start, you know, a guy that can play above the rim, that can be uh, effective in the open court, up and down the floor. Now they're adding pieces to that, and that's the thing that I think is going to make them very, very exciting uh, to watch next year. And really, when you look at how Josh Smith can work with the Moose mm -hmm. and Andre Drummond, that has to excite you. Oh, it does, it does. You know, and I know there are some people that have criticized this move, but you can't criticize this move. I mean, they're starting to do something, and, and this is a significant pickup. I mean, this guy mm -hmm. is is as athletic as they come. He plays well above the rim. He can rebound. He can block shots. Um, he can score inside and out to a degree. And, you know, he, I'm, I'm shocked that in nine years he hasn't been in an all-star game. But I think that will, will happen for him soon. And you called it Special K in terms of the point guard position. Jose Calderon, of course, will not come back to the Motor City. We saw the reports going to the Dallas Mavericks for four years. Uh, you, you called it. You said he wouldn't be back. So Well, you know what? That opens up things for the possibility of having Will Bynum come back. Sign as a free agent right back here with the Pistons, who I think did a magnificent job last year at various times during the season. And of all the guys that, that really meshed with the talents of Andre Drummond, who let's not even you know, make any bones about it. He is the future of this franchise. It was Will Bynum. They collaborated so well, and and uh, I think that's something that the Pistons will look at when they start trying to get that point guard spot uh, solidified. Will Bynum possibly coming back. A couple of last things too. Speaking of the point guard position, you talked about Bynum. A lot of talk about Chauncey Billups. Yeah. Mr. Big Shot may be coming yeah. back to the Motor City. What do you think about that? Uh, not a bad move because first of all, he can still play. And he can still contribute. Now, obviously, he's, he's, he wouldn't be the same Chauncey that left here. We know that. But, you know, his leadership, the respect that he has, and, and the way guys feels, feel about him and what he's meant to this organization, that, that, that has to be a win-win in my mind. We know we saw the draft a few days back, but I haven't had a chance to talk to you since then. Cantavius Caldwell-Pope, the big fella, the kid out of Georgia, mm -hmm. he has a pretty good game. 
Well, here's the thing. Again, I get back to that, that term athleticism. He, he brings that. Uh, he's a good shooter, which is what this team truly needs. And uh, as Joe Dumar said, he can play both ends of the floor, which is something, again, they're lacking. Uh, and, and if he can provide that and, and get better and better, I know he's playing in the summer league right now, so I'll be curious to see how that works out. But I think that the Pistons are young. Um, they're rejuvenated. And I think that uh, it's going to be a lot more fun and exciting at the Palace this year. I can truly see some light. Well, we like what we hear. Special K, always good to see you. And make sure to take a break every once in a while. I'll try. Well, that's Greg <laughs> Kelser, as everybody knows. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Anytime, David, Special K. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. And we're back right after this timeout. Stay right there.